What you guys got another video here for you. This is another Linux video and what we're going to be doing now is taking a look at how we can uh, make some minor changes or customize it after we've just first installed it. So first off, in the first video, we created our uh, bootable USB flash drive with uh, Peppermint OS 8 on it and then we uh, installed a Peppermint OS 8 and now what we're going to do is do the next step once you've got it installed these are some of the next things you can do if you want to it's advisable to do the updates but uh, these other changes are just up to yourself but I'm going to just show you them just in case you are uh, new to Linux and you want to learn how to do a couple of little things and if you want to learn other stuff let me know in the comment section below and I can help you so first off let's take a look here at the uh, background uh, wallpaper now when you change desktop wallpaper here you'll see there'll be a default area here where you've got wallpapers inside here now if you want to uh, put your own wallpapers in then you can do all you need to do here is uh, click on uh, the preferences and what preferences are going to do is allow you to add a new path in and you can see I've added pictures into here and there have been a couple of little downloads that I've uh, put in here just to show you and once you've done that you'll be able to change the wallpaper just like this very easy to do now let's go to the menu system tools and then click on update manager this is the next thing you want to do you want to make sure that you click on the install updates up the top you should see a bunch of updates here now you can see my one's been fully updated but if it hasn't you need to click on install updates and this will update uh, your fresh install uh, to all the latest patches and stuff like that so it's always advisable to do that okay now once you've got that you may want to make some changes to the desktop and we're going to do that with uh, Conkey so let's open up a terminal here now don't worry about the commands because we're going to paste all these out and this is a sudo apt dash get install Conkey this is going to install all of the Conkey into our build and then once we've done this uh, this is going to give us the ability to install uh, the Conkey manager as well which is going to allow us to uh, manage all our Conkeys so we'll go ahead and put these in I will put all these commands in the video description you just copy and paste these these are pr pretty much all over the internet you just find the one you want and then you just follow uh, these as I'm doing here now this is sudo app dash get update this is going to update everything and get it all ready and then once we've done that we can then put in our Conkey manager now the Conkey Manager is pretty straightforward and simple. There's no need to type all these out. Honestly, you can just copy and paste them just like I'm doing here. And you can see here, this is installed in the Conkey Manager. Now this does come with a few uh, Conkeys on here, which you can use. So we're done with the uh, terminal for now. So what we can do is uh, close off the terminal. And I'll just quickly uh, show you uh, what it looks like. So now if we go down to the menu button here and then accessories and look for Conkey Manager, you can see Conkey Manager is here and now we have a few Conkeys in here. As you can see we have widgets and uh, themes. So you can choose what you want. These are widgets what we're looking at right now. So you can click on this and boom, it puts in a nice time and also date and day. And you can see hard drive, RAM, CPU, and whatnot on there now you can make these as complex or as easy as you like you can move them to the left right center bottom all these things are easy inside the Conkey manager panel just click on this cog wheel here and you can see alignment top middle and you can see top right top left bottom right bottom left whatever you want so simple and then just put in your uh, horizontal gap if you want or leave it as it is and you're pretty much good to go the transparency set it up how you like another area that's important is the other cog wheel which is called application settings inside here you're going to be able to see run Conkey at system startup make sure that is enabled and it's blue there and that means it's going to run as soon as you start the uh, operating system up now you can also see the uh, startup delay seconds and you can change this and you can see you can have this at 10 or 20 or whatever it is you want okay default is about 20 you've got import themes start and restart widget as well and also refresh and you put import theme packs these are theme packs that you can get off the internet there's loads of people that have uh, way more clever than what I am that have created these and you can just import these into your Conkey if you want to and uh, set them up pretty straightforward so take your time to customize it the way you want 
but these are what we're looking at here widgets and there are the themes right here we've only got one theme in here which you can see which is the green apple desktop and uh, this is what we've got right here so if you want to get this set up you can do it's pretty straightforward you just have to uh, click on these little things here and it will start enabling them like this and then you can position them to where you want them now an easy way to edit these is uh, clicking on the little cog wheel above here and this allows you to edit uh, your widget and you can change the alignment to the top middle uh, bottom left and so on on there and you can also uh, change the transparency and the size and everything else and the horizontal gap and the vertical gap on there anyway let's move on to the next step here so let me just close this all off and I'll show you uh, the custom themes here how you can add, add more of these in now you can look for these I will put some links in the video description for you and uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, a load of other people on the internet they're going to know about these themes and you can just download them so go into your home directory here you can see inside here home you can see there is a bunch of files here if you push Control H this will hide and show files you can show the files here and you can see the dot conky inside here and there is another big dot conky there but don't worry about that one so you can see here all the files are inside here now when you've downloaded your themes it will have a readme file in there and it will tell you so I've got one here called deluxe uh, conky themes and you can see fonts home and uh, themes click on the readme file and this will give you the instructions on what to do with this particular type of uh, pack and you can see here it's saying uh, push push control h and there you can see copy files to the dot conky and the dot conky um, folders so you can copy those into that home area and the dot fonts area so just have a look in here themes open this up copy all these files and then put them into the dot conky folder pretty simple stuff so go here click on the dot conky folder you'll see it up here that one with a small c click in here and paste them in here now you've got another dot conky which you have to put into there which i've already done so you just have to follow the instructions really 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 simple stuff and also with the fonts and and uh stuff like that you need to do the same thing now inside the home area click on that home area and you'll see there's another dot conky in there you need to copy that into the home directory and then that will work as well and you so so you've got two dot conkeys in here this is how this theme pack's been designed and then also you can see them all inside there and you can see all these just copy them straight into there very easy to do now let me just come back here and show you just the fonts here so open up the fonts and copy all the fonts into the dot font uh, folder and this is going to give you the fonts for those particular uh, types of themes now if you don't install the fonts what's going to happen it's going to start messing up and you can have uh, text missing and stuff like that so let's open up the uh, terminal here and quickly do sudo app dash get update and then put your password in and this is going to now um, give me all the updates that we've just created so if you've copied those files across it's going to allow me to now see those when I open up my conky uh, manager so open up the conky manager here and you can see there's a big ton of list here and that's what you're going to see once you've done that okay so you need to do that in them steps and it's pretty straightforward now you can click on the preview and uh, once you click on the preview window you can now see a bunch of uh, conkeys on the right there and there's tons of them in here you just choose which one you want and customize it uh, to the way you like you can even change the colors on them if you want to and that's in a another video I think because that's going to be a bit more uh, further down the line so I'm going to go ahead and choose one that I think will suit this uh, wallpaper and this theme that I've got and this one looks quite nice so you can see the preview here and it allows you to now click on this and boom you've got it installed straight on your desktop and this is giving you your network your processes your hard drive your system and a nice little clock up the top again you can change all the uh, horizontal gap the vertical gap the size of your um, thing and your transparency as well and you can turn it on or off and do whatever you like with it but that's what I'd advise you to do find ones that you want to use and then when you're happy keep it on your desktop so I don't like that one I'm going to go back to the other one because I think that looks pretty good and then uh, we'll leave it there so let me just remove this one quickly go back into the conky manager here and remove that other one off the uh, screen there there we go 
So that's what we've got now. So what I'm going to do now is show you how you can change your colors and your fo folder colors and stuff like that. It's pretty straightforward. So you can see here we've got the Numix folders. You can change the style, uh, the color scheme. You can see the primary, secondary, and uh, symbol. You can change all these to whatever colors you like. So for instance, if you wanted to do this, you could do and change them to each individual red one if you want to do so they transition all down in different colors. And again, you can spend much more time than I'm doing here. I'm just going to give you an example here. And you can change the styles as well. Again, what you can do as well is change uh, the actual folders themselves in the home directory there. And I'll show you how to do that. So you can see these folders are blue. And they're not quite going with the theme where we've got a red and black thing going on. But if you want to change these to red, you can do. That's easily done. And uh, inside here, you'll see a uh, customized look and feel and uh, we can have a look in here and you'll see up the top here you see these little widgets up here you got color and you can see that uh, selected theme is uh, blue and you can now change this to whatever color you like so red whatever you can spend more time on it I'm just going to give you an example here and then apply this and you can see the icon theme pack uh, the mouse cursor all that sort of stuff and uh, you can see the little things at the top now red and you can now go to the icon theme and you can change this if you want to and go to a red like so apply and that's pretty much it it's that simple and you can see you can make more changes here as well so spend your time uh, customizing it the way you want and the way you like it and uh, make it your own put your own stamp on there and uh, that's pretty much it and you can see we have red folders now inside here now there's loads of information on the internet and uh, I will try and put the uh, links in the video description for you so you can just copy and paste those out. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. It's not rocket science, it's really easy stuff. Okay, so let's do one more customization here. We can uh, do the terminal. So if you want to have a look at the terminal here, as you can see, very bland looking. But if you want to add a bit more spice to it, you can do by going into your Synaptic uh, package manager here and putting in your password and you'll be able to change uh, the settings inside here so go inside here and go up to the top and you want to put inside here screen fetch and that's pretty much it all you can do here now is right click on here and then you can mark this for installation it's very easy to do so just right click mark for installation and then you can apply and you should be good to go so all you need to do is click on that apply button and you can click on apply again here and it will be installed and we need to make one more little minor change here and I'll show you how to do that quickly so I can close this off now now you want to go to where the home directory is so as you can see here we're in the home directory push control H and this will show your hidden files and you're looking for the bash file here you can see if so bash RC open this up and then come all the way down the bottom right where it says FI and then you can put in there screen fetch pretty simple stuff and then you can click save and that's that so now we can close this off we don't need this anymore and once you've done that you should be okay so now we can click on menu and terminal and it's saying add in the sudo app install uh, screen fetch here so let me just quickly do that I think that's because I have to tick in download uh, the package file only on the tick so just let that happen that's okay it doesn't really matter and uh, just install that and then close off the terminal and you can open it up again and you should now see your customized terminal there you go so we've done quite a bit so far the video is getting a bit long it's 14 minutes so I'm gonna probably wrap this one up so let me just show you a couple more things okay so I just wanted to touch on a couple of other bits here before we uh, end this video if you want to add uh, your conkeys and stuff like that through your synaptic package manager you can do and uh, you won't be able to put the code in uh, via the uh, one you've maybe found on the internet you'd have to go into your synaptic package manager here 
put in your password uh, for your account, open it up and you'll see we have our Synaptic Package Manager. Up the quick filter you will just type in uh, whatever you want, say for instance Conkey and uh, this will give you your Conkey and Conkey Manager which you can then mark for installation and install it this way if you want to. Okay, So if you haven't found one on the internet, a bit of code or something like that, you just want to copy and paste, you can still do it via this method as well. Uh, and this is really easy to do and then you'd have obviously your Conkey and Conkey Manager and then you would go ahead and uh, go, go ahead and tweak that the way you like. So it just depends on uh, which way you want to go about it really. And you can do that pretty much with a lot of stuff through the Synaptic Package Manager. Now let's take a look at the terminal here. So we've got our customization on the terminal. We've got our Conkey down the right hand side here. I just wanted to touch on this other thing as well. Let's go back into the Conkey Manager and uh, take a look here. So you can see uh, that we do have our widget that we've got enabled here. Now, if you want to get rid of the clock, say for instance, and you want to edit it, you know you can move position with the edit widget here and change the horizontal size and all that stuff. We've covered that. But if you want to edit it further, you can open this up in Notepad and then change colors and things like that. So if you want to go that far, you can do. And uh, all you need to do is open it in the, uh, the, the Notepad part and uh, you will see this is probably not a perfect example because obviously it's more foreign text uh, there but you can see generally find out where the clock is and the color so if you want to change colors you can do if you want to uh, change the uh, item and remove the clock and put in your own clock you can do there's loads of things you can do and you can tweak it all in here someone has created this code and that's how you can remove the clock and put your own clock in it's that simple but I, li I like it the way it is I'm just going to leave that because I'm not going to go into that uh, but we can cover that in another video if you want and you can see the images down below pretty straightforward and easy to do and uh, but these uh, settings in here are what are controlling your conky on the right hand side there so that is that part so i'm just going to wrap this one up now anyway i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you want to see more of this stuff let me know in the comments section below anyway thanks again for watching bye for now Thank <laughs> you.